Hey everyone, Shane here with eTrail.com. Today I have a 2019 Mazda MX-5 Miata. I'm gonna walk through how to install the Kurt Class 1 trailer hitch receiver. This is what our hitch is gonna look like when it's installed. You can see our cross tube is completely hidden behind the bumper fascia. The only thing we can see is our receiver tube. This hitch is going to be designed more for your bike racks and cargo carriers. Keep in mind, being a Class 1 hitch, you're gonna be limited to up to a two bike bike rack. We're gonna have an inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter receiver tube opening. Reinforced collar gives us a little extra stability there. Hitch pin hole is going to be half inch in diameter. Take a standard half inch hitch pin. Pin in clip is not included with this hitch, however, they can be found here at eTrailer. Rolled steel style safety chain loops. You can see very large openings will fit some of the larger size safety chain hooks. Now that we've got our vehicle down on the ground, I'm going to give you some measurements and weight capacities to help you when deciding on any of those hitch mount accessories like your bike racks and cargo carriers. From the center of our hitch pin hole to the outermost part of our fascia, which is gonna be up here. You're looking at about five inches. That number is important for any of your bike racks or cargo carriers that fold up. You wanna make sure they're not gonna make contact. From the ground to the top innermost part of the receiver tube, you're looking at about 10 inches. Keep that number in mind for any of your hitch mount accessories that may require a little bit more ground clearance. Now, if you ever plan on towing with this, because this sits at 10 inches, I recommend using a raised shank. That being said, we're gonna have a 200 pound max tongue weight, which is a downward pressure on the inside of the receiver tube. So you wanna make sure when you're loading the cargo carrier, the bike rack, or even pulling that small trailer, you're not exceeding that. You're gonna have a 2,000 pound gross trailer weight. That's how much the hitch can pull. It's gonna be the trailer plus the load included. I always recommend checking the owner's manual of the vehicle. Make sure the vehicle can withstand that amount of weight. You're gonna go with the lowest number between the vehicle and the hitch. As far as the installation process, it's really not that hard to do. You are gonna to have to lower your exhaust. Only requires a few simple tools. Now that we've gone over some of the features, we'll walk through how to get it installed. To start our installation, we're gonna take a strap. I'm gonna hang it right here through this hole in the frame rail and this hole in our frame rail. We wanna make sure you're going underneath the exhaust. We're gonna be removing some exhaust hangers to lower our exhaust to give us a little extra room. We're gonna remove this one. We're gonna have two on this side and then two on your driver's side. To remove those, you can use some soapy water, some kind of spray, uh, spray lubricant to help get those off a little bit easier. Once you have your hangers sprayed down, you can use a pry bar, you can use channel locks, you can also use an exhaust hanger tool if you have one. We're just going to pry off one end. We'll do that on each one of our hangers. On each side of the vehicle, this bracket we need to remove. It's going to have a screw on bottom, screw on top. 10, 10 millimeter socket to remove both of those. These will not be reinstalled and two of the bolts will not be used. We're going to hold on to the other two because they will be used in a later step. The rearmost hole on our frame rail, we need to be able to get our hardware into it. Hardware is going to be a spacer block. You can see that one's not going to fit. And then the head of our bolt. So what we're going to do I'm going to take a grinding bit. I'm going to grind down one of the sides. Once you get the hole opened up enough where you can fit the head of the bolt in, we're going to come back, take some Rust Oleum paint, and we're going to spray that bare metal down. We need to get our hardware down through this hole as well as this one. We're going to start with this most forward one. We're going to have a pull wire, looks like this. We're going to take the spring in, feed it in that hole, and we want the spring to come out here. You may have to put a slight bend in the end of it. You're going to put on a spacer block. And go ahead and feed that up into the hole. Ah. 
Then we're going to thread on a carriage bolt. And it may be easier if you grab the end of your wire, take this bolt and feed it the head in first. Just bolt the rest of the up in there. We're going to pull it down just like that. For this hole back here, we're going to do a reverse feed. So we're going to take our pull wire, we're going to add on the spacer block first, we're going to thread on the bolt, we're going to feed the bolt up in there first, followed by the spacer block, and we'll pull it straight down. We're going to repeat that whole process on the other side of the vehicle. Now the next set of hands, we're going to lift our hitch into place. Take your pull wires, feed them through the corresponding holes in the hitch. Make sure you're going over top of the exhaust. Get up behind. Get the bolt to drop down through. Then we'll have that second set of hands. Hold the hitch up in place. We're gonna pull off one of the wires on one side. You're gonna take one of your fingers, push against the bolt, thread on the nut. We'll get one of these on on each side. That'll support the hitch, and then we can install the remaining hardware. And we'll come back with an 11 16 socket. We're gonna tighten and then torque the hardware to the specifications and the instructions. We're going to have a small bracket that looks like this. This bracket is going to take the place of the fascia bracket that we removed earlier. We're going to take the small carriage bolt, we're going to feed it from the inside of our hitch here, out. We're going to take our bracket, slide it over the bolt, install the nylon line. One of the bolts that we removed from those factory brackets, we're going to install it here. And we can come back, tighten those up, and repeat that process on the other side. Then we'll raise our exhaust up, reinstall our hangers. Once you have all the hangers reinstalled, you can go ahead and remove your strap. Once you have your exhaust back in place, you remove your strap, you're ready to go. It's going to do it for look at and installation on the Kirk Class 1 trailer hitch receiver on 2019 Mazda MX-5 Miata.